If you are using Windows 11, chances are it's not optimized because you're not using these customized settings. So today, I'm going to show you the best Windows 11 settings that will provide higher FPS and lower input latency, regardless of the gaming system you are using. This guide will be helpful for you, so don't forget to like and subscribe if you find it really useful. First, on your desktop, press the Windows key and the R key. A run box will open. Type temp and hit enter. Then press Ctrl plus A to select all the temporary files and then press the delete key to remove them. Finally, type prefetch in the run box, hit enter and select all the files again to delete them. Go back to Windows settings, but this time go to the gaming section and select Xbox Game Bar. What you want to do here is disable it because there are much better alternatives like Shadowplay and OBS. You can also go into game mode. Now, some people like to enable this, myself included. I think it's better for FPS, but some people prefer to disable it because they think it improves their performance. So you'll have to try this out for yourself. Go to settings again, but this time go to apps. Under apps and features, you'll likely notice that there are many apps you don't use and that are consuming resources. So go through all of these apps and uninstall the ones that are completely unnecessary for you. Also disable any startup applications that don't need to launch with your computer. Next, open Windows Search and type Command Prompt, then choose to run it as an administrator. This is important, so click Yes on the prompt. Inside the command prompt, type the following command, dism slash online slash cleanup image slash check health. This will verify if there's any data corruption that could be responsible for low FPS or latency issues on your computer. Once the scan is complete, if any issues are detected, they will likely be fixed automatically, which is great. Additionally, there's another command, sfc slash scanow. This will verify the integrity of every protected operating system file on your computer and at the end of the scan, it will tell you whether everything is fine or if any issues are found and fixed. In the settings yet again, you want to go into privacy and security. Inside the general tab, you want to make sure all of these four options right here are disabled as they're pretty much useless for most people out there. Also in speech, I like to disable this setting as I really don't use it. If you use it, you might want to keep it on. I also like to disable that diagnostics and feedback option too. I don't really require it, so I like to take it off. Oh, as well, I like to scroll down a bit and disable any of these apps that I don't have any use for, like location. Most of the time I do it on my phone, so I like to disable options like this, but do this at your own risk. Make sure you're disabling stuff that you don't actually use. If you use it, you want to keep it enabled. Again, in search, this time type Edit Power Plan, then click on the option. Then select Change Advanced Power Settings. By default, this will be set to balanced mode, which is actually beneficial for most people using mid to high end computers. If this suits you, I would probably leave it on, but there's also a high performance option, which I highly recommend selecting if you want more FPS, especially if you're using a low end computer. I hope these Windows 11 settings significantly boost your computer's performance and enhance your gaming experience. If you have any questions about this guide, or if you'd like to share your own experiences, don't hesitate to reach out in the comments. If you enjoyed the video and want more tech tips, guides and performance boosting advice, be sure to subscribe to the Game Gangster channel. Stay tuned with us for the latest updates and the best gaming tips. See you in the next video and good luck with your games.